No way. I mean, this is herding cats. Hey, who would possibly want this job? My name's Dan Rothschild. I'm the executive director of the Mercatus Center at George Mason University. So I found out about the Mercatus Center through our sister organization, the Institute for Humane Studies. And I was, I was finishing up with school and I was looking for a job. And, and a friend of mine had, had told me about IHS a few years before. And so IHS had a job board and I looked at positions and I found this place called the Meerkat Center or something like that. I wasn't sure how it was pronounced, uh, but I looked at their mission statement. I looked at the work that was being done at Mercatus and I decided it it was a place that I wanted to work. So I applied for literally every single job that Mercatus had open, including ones I wasn't even vaguely qualified for. And I guess eventually they got tired of me emailing them my CV and cover letter, so they brought me in for an interview. And somehow or another, I managed to talk my way into a job at Mercatus. That was 2005. There were 35 of us at that point. Today, we've got almost 200 staff and scholars at Mercatus. In 2011, I'd been at Mercatus for six years and I was offered a, a great job by Think Tank in Washington, DC, and, and, and I went there. And, and like so many people though at Mercatus, after about three years, I got the itch to come back. And fortunately, I was given that opportunity. Brian Hooks, who was my boss at Mercatus previously, the person who'd hired me when I wouldn't leave him alone, sending him copies of my resume, he called me up and, and asked me to have lunch with him. And we hadn't connected in a while. I thought it was just a friendly get together. And that's when he let me know that he was gonna be leaving Mercatus. And he asked if I was interested in his job. So of course my first thought was, no way. I mean, this is herding cats. Hey, who would possibly want this job? So I went home and I made a list of all of the reasons to take the job and all of the reasons to not take the job. But ultimately, I just kind of threw the list out because what it came down to was I care about the organization. The people who are here are some of the most intellectually curious, engaged, exciting, friendly, conversational, unconventional people that I've ever worked with. And if I could do anything to help advance the organization, to help the scholars and staff around here become more effective, advance the mission, advance this important intellectual inquiry, I wanted to be a part of it. So that's why I came back to Mercatus five years ago and, and I'm really glad that I'm here.